Today, I want to talk about Disney pins. I don't know if anybody out there is a Disney pin collector or trader, and granted, I don't really have very many at all. I'm new to it, uh, but I still wanted to show you what I have. Um, some of these are junk, just pure junk, because my sister didn't know any better and she bought a pin lot off eBay. That's a no-no because they'll say, oh, they're authentic. I go to the parts and I get them myself. That's not true. They'll throw uh, anywhere from one to maybe a handful of real pins in the lot. And the rest of them are, are going to be scrappers and fakes. Um, but, so she didn't know any better when she, this, this all came from a pin lot. My special ones are in my coffin. These are ones that I actually bought from Disney, from the parks. Not traded. I bought them, so they are authentic. I bought them in 2003, so some of them are from 2003, and some of them are from 2002. So, I want to take you through my collection and show you. Okay, these are, these are the junk ones, but let me, let me make a statement about the junk ones. Scrappers are bad to trade if you are trading with somebody and letting them think that you're sending them a real pen. They're definitely bad to trade in the park. The reason why, um, the reason why there's so many fakes and scrappers is because people will take the ones that they know are fake and trade them out in the park for real ones. And that keeps the fake ones in circulation and then people... Uh, that are new to, to trading, don't know any better, and then they go and they trade for those scrappers. And uh, it just keeps the scrappers circulating in the park. Now, I will say this, and I guess uh, some diehard pen people might, might um, flame me for this. I don't care if I get scrappers, if it's something that I like. Um, I want to collect the Lion King, Nightmare Before Christmas, and The Haunted Mansion. Those are the ones I want to collect. And I wouldn't mind just having a few villains. Um, but I mainly want to stick with those three uh, categories. So if somebody's like, hey, I have a pen. I think it's a scrapper, but it's a really cool Haunted Mansion one. I'd be glad to trade for it. Um, as long as you know that what I'm trading is more likely going to be a scrapper too. If you want to trade scrappers for your own personal collection, I don't have a problem with that. Um, because it's about, pen trading should really be about what you like. Um, and sometimes I think people take it almost a little bit too serious. I guess it's okay if you do it for, if that's your job, if you do it for a living, take it serious. But if you're like me, and you just like the pens, you know, if you have a scrapper of Haunted Mansion or Jack Skellington, as long as it doesn't look like crap. Okay, like, uh, I have a scrapper here that, this one's a, this one's a scrapper, and the edge of it is, like, it'll catch on my finger because it wasn't cut and smoothed out right. That's one, uh, identifying mark of a scrapper. This one, because of this, even if somebody said, oh, I don't mind trading scrappers for my own personal collection, I still would not get rid of this one because I'm not going to give somebody something that they could stick themselves on. That one just looks too much like crap. I would not get rid of that. So that's, that's one. And I don't know if this is from something else. It kind of looks like a Momrath from uh, Alice in Wonderland. So that's what I think it might be. You know, don't step on the Momraths. That's what I think this is supposed to be. But that's a scrapper. And I will show these. I don't know. I'm doing what I can do. I don't know if my camera is going to focus on the pens well. So when I'm through going through these and, and showing you, I will show close-ups. Now these, I've got these separated. This is from the pen lot. These are obvious scrappers. These are ones that are convincing enough that I'm not quite sure, and these are the ones that I'm pretty damn sure are real, especially these two uh, Alice in Wonderland ones, but the other ones I'm 98.9% I'm sure that these are real. Um, but anyway, but like I said, I'm new to the whole pen thing, so I don't know a lot about it, to be honest. Uh, when I went to Disney in 2000, it was February 2003, 
Um, I had people walking up with these lanyards on and they were like, oh, you know, you want to see my pens? And I was like, okay. I didn't know anything about pens or pen trading. I didn't know it was a thing. But I went into one of their stores on Main Street and I saw a couple pens that I liked and I bought them for souvenirs. And then I had them, I was wearing them on my shirt and I had people coming up saying, do you want to trade? And I was like, no, I just, I just bought these. And they would look at me strange and walk off, but I didn't understand what pen trading was. I do now. Um, and I would love to go and do some purchasing and trading at the parks. Um, but like I said, I couldn't take any of these in good, I can't take these in good faith because I know these are fake and these are quite possibly scrappers and these are good. I would trade this handful. So anyway, that's, there's my, there's my, uh, thing on that. Okay. This one I'm sure is probably a scrapper because, um, one way to tell is when you look at the back and I don't know if the camera is going to focus on this, but when you look at the back, you can see these little Mickey prints. Scrappers will have a border. Real Disney pins, the print will just run off the edge and not have a border. This one has a border. However, I'm definitely going to keep this one because if you look closely, that is the uh, dress from Sally from A Nightmare Before Christmas. So this one stays with me regardless of if somebody's like, oh, I don't care if it's a scrapper. I want it anyway. No, this one stays with me because this is Nightmare Before Christmas. So I love that. I really hope that you can see these. Maybe I should stop and go back and check and see if you can see what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know. I just don't want this whole thing to be blurry. Okay, this one is a scrapper because like I said, the border gives it away. But that's really cute. Mickey Mouse. Maybe I should hold up a piece of paper or something. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me hold this up so it'll, the camera can focus maybe. There's little Mickey Mouse. Isn't he cute? He's a scrapper, but he's just cute as, as he can be. And here is a hidden Mickey. And hidden Mickeys are very popular. I love the coloration of this. I'm, it might actually even glow in the dark. But the quality of it, this was before, uh, before a certain year. I don't know what year. The, um, the backs didn't have the Mickeys that ran off the back. So this could possibly be real, but the only reason why I thought it was a scrapper is because the edge is a little bit worn, but that could also mean that somebody just wore the shit out of it. I don't know, but this one might glow in the dark. I'm going to have to see if this glows in the dark, but here's a little hidden Mickey. And if you look, I don't know if the camera will get close, but I'll show you at the end. There's a little hidden Mickey up in his ear right here. Okay. And here's one. Uh, this one is a stitch. If any, I know a lot of people that collect stitches. There's a stitch pen right there. And here, this one actually hurts my feelings that I believe it's a scrapper because I freaking love Bernard and Bianca from The Rescuers. And this is a beautiful little Bianca pen. She's beautiful. I mean, uh, even if she is a real scrapper, I would not be ashamed to wear her because it's a beautiful pen. Um, this one's kind of cool. This one looks like a hat, but it's the um, queen. This is the queen from Snow White. So you got your poison apple and, and the heart and her crown. So I think that one's pretty freaking cool, actually. I really hope this thing's focusing in on these. Um, this one's a scrapper. But I believe it's a scrapper. It's a one of four hidden Mickey pen. But the only reason why I believe this one's a scrapper is just because the enamel is just bad. And it's just worn. And the edge right here is rough. Uh, but it's really cute. They remind me of little ghostly footprints. Uh, kind of like if Mickey Mouse was one of uh, the hitchhiking ghosts. Okay, this one is a scrapper. This one's a chaser pen. Chaser pens are put an extra pen that comes in a set. Like when you buy a set, uh, when you buy a box, like a mystery box, say that there's five pens in a set. 
Well, it'll show on the back of the box the five pins, but then it'll have one that's kind of invisible with just the outline, and that's a chaser pin. And they usually, people like the chaser pins. But this is a fake one because the quality is horrible. This one doesn't even come close to looking like a real one to me. And then here's another one. This one says, Mater the Greater. I cannot stand, as much as I love actual vehicles, the movie Cars was cute. I cannot stand Mater. Ugh. So I will not, I would not hold on to anything that is Cars related pen wise. But they're great for like people that like Cars. Here's one. I believe this one is supposed to be a cast member outfit. I don't know. Color wise, I can't figure out. That might be Tower of Terror. I can't figure out the, the color. It's kind of like a blue and orange, but I wouldn't think that the Tower of Terror cast members were blue and orange. Okay, and here's a set, which I believe these are all scrappers. Uh, they're hidden Mickeys, and each one is a different colored monorail, and they're supposed to be, let's see how many was in the set. I need my glasses. I would have to pull that off. Anyway, so I've got a... I can't even tell what color it is. It's like a dark blue monorail piece. And a lighter blue monorail piece. And like a burgundy brown one. And this yellow one, which I actually like the yellow one. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the I know these are scrappers uh, thing. Okay, these are the few which I'm not sure of. This is a chaser pen with a hidden Mickey on it, and it is the Jungle Boat, uh, the Jungle Cruise Boat. But it looks really good, and it looks good on the back, so I'm not sure if that's real or not. So I'm just going to put that in my I don't know pile. This one uh, actually has a, it says limited release, and it has a, serial number on the back of it but it doesn't say what number it says limited release but it doesn't say if there's a number or anything and the border on the back part of it looks like it could be real i don't know this one might be real i can't tell this one the mickeys do run off the back and it does say limited release i might just have to look up the number on this one this one might actually be real Sometimes it's so hard because sometimes the fakes are so good, it's hard to tell. And even people that trade all the time sometimes can't tell. Um, this one, I believe, is a fake just because of the border. And it sucks because it's really cute. And I have one that is in the same set that I believe is real. Um, this is the one that I think is real. Because the back of it, all the Mickeys run off nice and smooth. So I'm definitely keeping that one. And then here is the last of the maybes. This one also says limited release. But it doesn't say like limited release of what number or anything like that. And that's a cute little Tinkerbell. That's pretty cool. So I wouldn't feel bad about trading these that I just showed you because... There's a darn good chance that they are real, but I'm not, I can't be 100% sure. Okay, now, and in the, in the real, the ones that I believe are real, I just showed you the little skull one right here. And then I have an Olaf apple. And that's also a hidden Mickey. He's got a little Mickey on his cheek. And this one is actually a hidden Mickey lanyard. And uh, all the numbers and everything on the back look good. So I believe that one's real. It's, it's made really well. The edges are really smooth. The color's nice. The edging is nice. Here's another hidden Mickey. Um, this one's two out of five. So there's a, there was five in this set. This one looks really good on the back. The color's really nice. And it's got the... Um, no, this one doesn't have an extra. Yeah, it does. This one's got a little extra foot. Like when you when you pull off the back, you, a lot of times the scrappers, they won't put an extra little foot back here, but the Disney ones will have it. This has got two feet, one on either side. 
Uh, it says Hidden Mickey Pin, two of six. Disney China, which is acceptable. And it's got the year, which I cannot see because I don't have on my reading glasses. But the color's really nice. The edges are really smooth. I have no reason to think that one's fake. Ooh. Um, I love this one. This is the uh, Rainbow Caramel Apple, which I think is super cute. It is also a hidden Mickey. The little Mickey's over in the ear over here. Everything on the back of that one looks really good. Uh, the Mickey's run off the edge. I have no reason to think that that's not 100% real. This one, uh, I can't, I'm guess, I think this one's real. The Mickey's run off the back and everything. It's real clean and it's got the extra little foot for the pen. That's super cute. Little black and white Minnie Mouse. She looks goth, so I'm definitely keeping her. And then I have uh, two Hidden Mickey pennants. These came in a set. So I've got a red one. And I've got a yellow one. The color looks really good. The pins are nice and smooth. Everything looks nice on the back. And then uh, this one has this one has a color issue. So I'm not sure if... I'm going to have to look the actual pin up and see if this one little color thing... Uh, is with all the pens because other than that I would think that this one is real and even if it's not I don't care because it's got Chernabog on it and I I love Chernabog um, if, if you don't know who Chernabog is he is the demon that the main demon that controlled all the little demons on a night and bald mountain in Fantasia fantastic I love him okay these two I like um, these have got the production numbers or whatever it is on the back of it, it says uh, Disney made in China their pens are made in China so it's definitely okay if it says that and I have looked the numbers up on these um, these are black and white kind of like almost like chalk drawings of Alice in Wonderland uh, this one's got the little drink me on it it's got Alice standing there it's just really beautiful it's got one of the singing flowers you can tell a lot about from the flowers, and especially in the month of June. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a really beautiful pen? I love these. And I think this one just came out a few years, a couple years ago. And then I have one with a right white rabbit that says, I'm late, I'm late. And it's got the rabbit running with his clock in his hand, and it's got another clock down at the bottom. And this one's just a really beautiful one. This one also goes in that set. Okay, now, I know this is going to be just like one continuous video, but like I said, I'll, I'll go and show you up close the pens when I'm done. Now these, these are my babies. These are the ones that I went into the stores in Disney and I bought these and I love them. I will not trade these ever because for me... One, it's the memory of the first time that I found out about pens. But I grew up in Disney World as a kid. And then uh, life happened and I didn't get to go back for years. And then I got to go with a friend in 2003 and I haven't gotten to go back since. This is my, just because of money, this is my piece of Disney World. This is my memories of my last trip to Disney World. And I will not trade these for anything just because of the sentimental value. This one, I absolutely love. This was a calendar series. And it's from 2002, the month of October, which is my, my birthday is in October. So this one's uh, like double for me because it's Belle from Beauty and the Beast and it's in October. So my birthday, my birthday was on a Saturday. In 2002 so that's pretty cool I love that I hope this is focusing because that's really beautiful and then uh, oh gosh I have a hard time with these I got a Maleficent I freaking love her isn't she fabulous I think this one is a 2002 edition I'm not sure 
But this is before they started doing the Mickeys on the back. So the back is kind of like a, um, almost like a, um, not like a waffle print, but kind of like a screen. It's like somebody laid down a screen or something. But isn't she absolutely fantastic? Look at how beautiful she is. And then these two came in a set and I had to have them. I am a huge uh, Lady and the Tramp fan. Where are you, Lady? You're hiding from me. I'm a huge Lady and the Tramp fan, and both of these came together, and I had to have them. Um, I started, when I started teaching myself how to draw when I was 10, I was obsessed with Lady and the Tramp and drawing them all the time, so these are special to me. I absolutely just adore these pens, and they will not go anywhere. Okay, this one I love. Here's another Chernabog, and this is a beautiful, huge, heavy pen. I really like him, and it says Chernabog on the back, which I think is pretty cool. This one is actually such a big pen, it's got two pen holders, so, but look at him. Check out how awesome he is. Isn't he cool? I hope you can see this. And then during the... Um, Disney will go through themes, and one of the themes was something about music or going through music. So I have two. The back of the pens actually have musical notes all over them, like the Mickey's, like they've got the Mickey's now. These have musical notes on them because these were part of this set. This one is Bella Notte with Beauty and the Tramp, uh, Beauty and the Tramp, Lady, <laughs> Lady and the Tramp. So you've got Tony singing Bella Nante in the background there. And Lady and the Tramp at their famous spaghetti dinner, which I absolutely love. And then this one is the Headless Horseman. And of course, anything Headless Horseman, I freaking love. So I absolutely love that. It's got Ichabod with gunpowder and the Headless Horseman in the back. And the reason why this is part of a music series is because a lot of people don't realize that the Headless Horseman, um, the Disney cartoon, is actually a musical. I have it on DVD. This one I love because I have a place in my heart for Mary Poppins. Um, there's something deeply personal about it that I cannot share the story, but I love Mary Poppins and this is a beautiful Mary Poppins pen and you don't see a lot of Mary Poppins pens usually if you do the ones that I've seen circulating around are usually like the penguins the dancing penguins and stuff but I don't see a lot of Mary or Bert and I really love that pen now mm, these last three are my favorites Here's my Haunted Mansion pen, and this has got, uh, this is Ezra. That's Haunted Mansion. I think, I believe that's Ezra. And then they had one with Gus and one with Phineas. Look how beautiful that is. I want all, all of the Haunted Mansion pens. Love that one. And then this one is special. This one's called Partners, and it's the partner statue of Walt and Mickey in front of the castle which I think this pen is just stunning and it says it all they're I mean partners it's it's what Disney's about um, this one I absolutely love you cannot this one to me is a big collector because they have now taken down the hat is no longer MGM Studios the hat is gone. It is uh, Disney Hollywood Studios right now. There's not a hat there. This was uh, 100 Years of Magic. And what I like about this is the back of it had a little battery thing in it. And I don't know if you can see, but there's actually like little dots through here. And it lit up. And like the little, it had like twinkling lights in it. Now, I'm very upset because the foot broke off the back of it. 
and I still have it. There's the piece that goes right there. Um, I might solder it, but I don't know. I'm just going to just take care of it. But uh, I love this one. Even though it's broken uh, now, I just think this one is absolutely special, and I adore it. Okay, so here are the pins up close. I'm going to start with the scrapper pile first. This is the uh, this is the Sally dress that I love. I don't care if it's a scrapper. This is the I think it's a Momrath. Now you can see that see that little snag right there. Here is Mickey. He's so cute. It's really a shame that he's not real. Here's Stitch. Super cute if you collect Stitch. If you don't care, you have a scrapper and you collect Stitch, I would trade that one. Uh, here's the really bad chaser pin uh, with Donald. I just don't think that that looks good at all. Here's the Mater one. I think this one's pretty bad too. It's not even like cut out right. Here's Bianca. I just think she's just she's just too damn cute look at how cute she is here's the one that I wonder if it glows it's a shame that that one I think is a scrapper because I really like that one here's the Mickey feet with the hidden Mickey that's the one that the enamels really bad so I'm pretty sure that's a scrapper here is the evil queen with the apple and the poison apple and then the dagger through the heart and her crown. I think that's pretty cool. Here's the Disney cast member one that I cannot figure out. Uh, maybe this was World of Sports or something. I don't know. When they had that. Here's the monorails. Isn't that cool? I like these. Um, even though that I believe they're scrappers, I like them because to me the monorails, like when you, when you first go into Disney, the monorails, my memories of, oh my gosh, yes, we're actually here. We're actually at Disney. I love riding the monorail. Okay. These, that was my scrapper for sure lot. These are, this is the limited release, uh, Tinkerbell. It says limited release. I don't know. Um, if you see back here and here's the one that I think is possibly honestly real it actually feels pretty good the Mickey's run off the edge there's no border it says limited release but I'm not sure I'm gonna have to look this one up uh, here is the Jungle Cruise boat chaser pin with the hidden Mickey. And then here is the little mini skull, which I think is super cute. I love the um, glitter in the eyes. But this one, I think, I think this one might have a border issue, which is what I was worried about. Now I don't really see it. I can actually see it closer up now than I could before, so I don't know. Maybe that's real. I'm not sure. Okay, here's the ones that, uh, um, this is the one, see the yellow? I'm going to have to look that up and see if that's real. But I love Chernabog. And then here's the little uh, Mickey one, I love that. And here is Olaf. I know this is a long video, y'all, but I really wanted to do this and, and show y'all my collection. I love that. This is great for like, uh, I would definitely wear this if, if we were down during like Florida's Gay Pride Week or something like that. I would definitely wear that to show my support. Uh, this one I think is absolutely adorable. Look at the little Mickey hat on it. What the heck? Yeah, it's got like two hidden Mickeys on it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Somebody squeaky. Here's the lanyard. This is a really beautiful pen. The color's really nice. This one's done well, I think. Um, here are the pennants that came in a set. See now. Nope. That's smooth as crap. It just looks weird on camera. And then the uh, yellow one here. Here's 
And then my little goth lo looking mini, she's, she, she's probably from like, uh, trendy or something. There is a, um, she looks, see the little pin curl on her cheek? It's like, uh, 20s. But there is a store, uh, called Trendy that's got like trendy Disney clothes and stuff. So, here is the, look at how gorgeous this is. Try to hold it still and get as much detail as possible. Well, y'all, I've got on my reading glasses right now and I'm still squinting. Even though this helps me see a little better. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see, there's the, the numbers on the back. And the Mickeys run cleanly off the border. These are really nice. And I think when I got this lot, I got it for my birthday last year. I don't think that these had really been out long enough to make bad copies yet. Alright, here are, is my prize collection. There's my partners. I love how it's like the 3D relief on it. That's really nice. Here's my, see the little dots now? You can see where the lights lit up on the inside. I love this pen, and I love that the stars go off the edge. I think that's super cool. And here is Ezra. I love this one. It's, it's, I love that, look at the detail in the frame. Look at that detail. That is gorgeous, and I love the really smooth enamel finish of this. I bought that as I exited. It was on a little, um, cart as I exited the Haunted Mansion, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta have a pen. I really wish I would have bought more pens. I didn't know back then. Uh, that one's still hard to focus in on. I don't know why. There it goes. Look at how beautiful that is. And see, these are the notes I was talking about that's on the back. Aren't those cute? And then here's the Haunted Mansion. I mean, the Headless Horseman one. And here's my Mary Poppins. I love her. She's so beautiful. I love I love Julie Andrews. And here's Turnabog. And here is Belle. Isn't she pretty? And here's Tramp. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Here's his lady. I love her. And here's Maleficent. She's such a badass. I absolutely adore her. So, I know that was a really long video. I really appreciate you sticking with me. Um, I just wanted to show you my collection. I think it's a lot of fun. And I've never really traded with anybody before. I would be open to trading. Um, I won't trade mine. I will definitely trade this lot. I don't know. I really like the little goth mini. I love the Alice in Wonderlands. I might keep those. This one and this one. Well, shoot. I don't know. I, but um, I'll trade a few of these. And this one, I'm going to do some research on. I really think this one's real. So I'm going to do some research on that. So, but uh, if there's anything that, if you're like, well, I don't care if I have scrappers because it's just fun. Um, if there's anything you want to trade for, let me know. I know, I know it was a really long video, but I really appreciate you hanging out with me and looking at my collection. And hey, if you have Disney pins, I'd love to see your collection. I love watching Disney pin videos. I like watching mystery box Disney pin videos. Um, I would love to get my hands on some mystery boxes to open up pins and see what was in there. But if you have a collection, let me know. Show me. Uh, tell me in comments down below. I will say that if, if you do want to trade scrappers or whatever for personal collection, please 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 don't sell them on ebay don't sell them as authentic don't trade them as authentic and please do not take them into the disney parks to trade that is so dishonest just don't be that person you know if you want to trade uh for your personal collection i really don't have a problem with that um but please don't don't be dishonest i just can't i i would not want to be parry to that. I just, I, 
I don't want to have anything to do with that. No dishonesty at all. But if you want to trade just for fun and for your own personal use, that's fine. Um, but let me know how your Disney pin collection is or if you want to get started in Disney pins um, and what you would want to collect from Disney. You know, do you like the Haunted Mansion? Would you want to collect Beauty and the Beast or Lilo and Stitch or maybe Tinkerbell? A lot of people collect Tinkerbell. Just let me know what you're interested in. Comment, subscribe. Thanks. Bye, guys.